Nelson Mandela once said that a society's soul is revealed from the way it treats its children. Unfortunately, the revelation about the safety of our children is not something we can be very proud of. In 2014, 16,901 children were killed in road crashes in India. And though the numbers have reduced marginally over the years, it's still surprising that a country which has eradicated polio and eliminated neonatal deathness in the last one year has failed to protect its children from preventable road deaths. And yes, those statistics not only reveal the existing policy gaps with regards to road safety, but also the lack of awareness when it comes to us, the drivers. And uh, through this series of videos, we're going to do our bit to ensure road safety and increasing awareness for chil uh, children's road safety. Exactly, and that's why uh, I, Animesh Das, am joined here today by Sergius Pareto. Sergius is uh, Autocar's uh, content development editor. He's an auto expert who's been working in this field for more than a dozen years now. And uh, more importantly today, he's here because he's a dad. Yeah, a dad to Samuel, uh, who's 11 years old, and uh, Sarah, who's 7. And I'm sure his experience will help us uncover some uh, observations or some tips as to how we can increase the safety of our children while we're driving them around. So, Sergius, uh, of course, we at Autocar India believe that uh, the onus of safety on the roads lies with the driver. The onus is on the adult, uh, you know, in the, in the car. Uh, no kid is going to know about uh, car safety, so it, it has to be the adult. That leads me to my first question now, or observation actually. Driving on Indian roads, you see a lot of, lot of adults with their kids in the first, in the front in the passenger seat, is that really a safe practice? Uh, no, it, no, it isn't actually. I mean, if you think about it, in, in a crash, uh, this area isn't really safe. Uh, the rear Why is, is this. Uh, well, it's it's first of all too, too close to the impact. And secondly, you've got airbags in the front, which would mm -hmm. deploy with uh, incredible amounts of force. That that force is okay for a human adult body, uh, but not, not for a child, certainly not for a kid. So then where do kids sit in the rear seat? In the rear Can seat. Can we just buckle them up in the rear seat? Yeah, they've, they've got to sit in the rear, buckled up, Right. Uh, I mean, if you can in the center, is it's the safest because you're away from from the sides in a, in case mm -hmm. of side impact. Uh, but otherwise, the side is fine. But in the rear, buckled up with their with their own seat belts. And of course, if they're small, then uh, you know uh, they would use the lap portion of the belt only. And uh, this portion goes behind. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to go in front of their neck or their face. And is there an age limit or something of that sort, or how does one determine? Um when to use the shoulder strap? It's it's basically height animesh. Uh, okay. As as soon as the child is tall enough to get this across his shoulder, okay. well then he can use this, this part as well. Now we also have a lot of safety devices and gadgets, for example, child seats that have come yeah, into the fray, yeah, right? Absolutely. So is that a is that a premium necessity for any parent now who's yeah, driving around I mean, the absolutely. kids? Absolutely, no, absolutely. It's it's in fact it's in some countries it's illegal to drive around without child seats, you know. So uh, I would say definitely you've got to have child seats. Uh, I've got a couple for my kids and uh, they aren't all that expensive. So yeah, you should have child seats. So another thing I've observed is uh, kids being buckled up with their parents. Now is that really... Is, oh, okay. is that really no, safe? you know, the, the intention is, is there, but it's, it's incredibly unsafe because what's going to happen is in, in a crash or even if you break really hard, uh, you know, the child's chest is going to have the weight of your body as well. Oh, you okay. know, so it's no, it's incredibly unsafe. Uh, the best thing to do is you should be buckled in the adult and uh, hold your child firmly in, in your arms. But that's only assuming you can't buckle them in their own seat. So, of course, those were the essential safety features. But nowadays, you all cars have standard safety features like a child lock doors as well as child lock power, power windows. Yeah. How much of a factor do those features actually play? Oh, they, they are incredibly important. I mean, uh, the child locks, for example, on, on the doors, uh, mm -hmm. they won't let you open the door from inside. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll only be operational from the outside. So it's incredibly safe. A child can't accidentally open the door from the inside. Okay. Uh, you know, and uh, same with the power windows. With the uh, power windows locked, uh, children can't, you know, lower the windows and put their hands out uh, outside. Uh, but yeah, in case you don't have power windows and they're manual windows, mm -hmm. then you've got to discipline your children about, you know, not touching the window winders and playing with them. Disciplining kids, uh, I mean, kids will be kids. How did you discipline your kids into understanding why you're enforcing these rules on them? Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got to explain to them about uh, safety. Uh, you know, getting hurt. Uh, kids understand getting hurt, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, with with Sarah and Sam, I mean, they were in child seats right from the time they were born. So they're used to sitting in, in seats. And even if they wanted to get out sometimes and, you know, out of the seats and fool around, we'd stop the car and say, well, if they're going to be out of the seats, the car stops. 
So, <laughs> you know, it worked. And uh, what about uh, some of the fun features that the car have these days, especially sunroofs? Is it advisable to let kids ah, no, no. tear out the <laughs> no, sunroofs no. and enjoy I've, a drive? No, I've, I've seen that, that happen far too often. You know, it's incredibly unsafe, obviously. Uh, right, I mean, uh, uh, you forget a crash. There can be even stuff that can fly, uh, you know, into into their eyes or into their face and and cause small little injuries. So it's it's no, it's incredibly unsafe. So thanks for that, Sergius. Uh, with this, we'll end this particular video. But uh, there's more to come. In the next video, we'll uh, talk about child seats, especially, and uh, the role they have to play towards keeping your children safe while you're driving them around. So stay tuned for that.